You know how important education is for me and how much I believe in the fact that owning a gun comes with a certain set of responsibilities. Um, somebody who knows a lot about it is Carrie Lightfoot, owner, operator of The Well-Armed Woman. It's a great organization. It's certainly an amazing gateway for women especially, but I think for everybody to get mm -hmm. their sea legs when it comes to firearm ownership. Carrie, thank you for joining us. Tell me a little bit about your organization. Well, The Well-Armed Woman was created to provide a very uh, comprehensive resource for women. So my aim is to provide resources, information, content, products, training, try to kind of get a little bit of everything to help the new shooter, the new woman shooter understand this foreign land of firearms and grow in confidence. And from there, she becomes a responsible gun owner. She's training, she's, she's aware of her surroundings um, and just growing in confidence. There's two things that I really appreciate. Uh, there's a lot of things that I really appreciate about your, your organization, but two in particular. One of them is the curriculum that you have and the structure steps that you suggest people take in understanding what is a firearm, what is ammunition, how do you own one, why do you own one, and so on. Right. Tell us a little bit about those steps. Well, I think as a new shooter, you don't know where to start. So I try to keep things structured and simple in a step-by-step -step process of of coming to the full understanding of why do they want the gun? Um, can they use it? I mean, there's some simple, there's some questions that have to be answered to move forward on could you use it? You know, so I try to take them through a process of, um, of really starting at the very beginning, at the very personal decision, um, and then move them through understanding the basics of caliber, under, you know, the different types of firearms, um, what their primary use is, and just move them through one step at a time to get to that place where they really know why they own it, and they know their gun inside and out, and they understand what questions they need to be asking. So um, I just think it's important that we, that we take people step by step. Another thing that I really enjoy about the organization is that there's certainly a lot of information, some good, some not so good, but there's a lot of information out on, on the internet if you want to understand how firearms work. You're actually straddling that area between online education and practical physical education. Yeah. Because you actually have chapters across the United States that help women sit down and understand and actually get a gun in their hands and fire it after they've gone online and maybe educated themselves a little bit. How many right. chapters are there? We now have 188 chapters wow. in 42 states across the country and just under 5,000 members. How does somebody who's watching right now go about getting in touch with you and becoming a member? What, mm -hmm. what are the steps that are necessary? The steps are to visit the website, thewellarmwoman.com, and we have a search field where they can find the different chapters that are in their state, and then the content or the contact information for the leaders, and it's really open to everyone. We're, we're, we're seeing brand new shooters of all ages. Uh, we ha I had an 86-year-old woman contact me last week about wanting to get in. She had lost her husband. And now in a new world of having to protect herself. So all ages, all skill levels, but it's just a very safe, respectful opportunity to ask questions and to grow a shooter. So the website's the place to start. Excellent. Yeah. And you mentioned that there's a, a host of reasons why somebody who's never owned a gun before starts thinking about it. And yet there's a large group of people that are sitting in that zone and will not take the next step, which is educate themselves and then purchase a gun. What do you think are some of the bottlenecks, some of the elements that prevent a woman from taking that necessary step? I think the overall sense that this, the world of firearms is intimidating, that it is so, there's, it's so male driven, I think that's a barrier. I think the misperceptions out in, in the media and out in the world of what a gun owner is, and I think we need to demonstrate through responsible ownership speaking out and talking with people and educating them that um, they're not different, that there's a lot of us out there that we're very normal, healthy, um, educated people. Um, so I think those are two of the biggest barriers. The fear of equipment, they need to learn to be comfortable with this machine. I think as women, we, we come here from a different place. Right. So um, we need to receive them through that doorway. It's a different doorway. Sure. So there's the academic and educational side of the well-armed woman, and then there's the more 
fun and convivial side of, of the organization. What are some of the activities that you do that actually inject fun in the side of gun ownership? Well, I think the chapter program is one of those ways where it's kind of social and there's this sisterhood growing where women are coming together and making friends, um, women that are like-minded. That is huge. I think most of us have kind of felt that we were strange or somewhere on the outside. And to then come to a place like the Facebook page or to a chapter meeting and see all of these other women that are just the same, that are just like me. Um, so that just creates a comfort, a comfort level. And um, so we have fun. I mean, I mean it's, it's, we're always safe, you know, primarily that's always the important thing. But it's okay. It's okay to have, to have fun and enjoy it. It's very intense when you think about personal protection and defending yourself against an attacker, but there's a fun side to shooting. And I think women are finding that. And we're trying to just create the place where they can learn, have some fun, and make some new friends. So as important as owning your first firearm it is in terms of steps and education, there's also the fun side aspect of it, and, and it's a way to get new friends maybe? Mm -hmm, absolutely. I think we're seeing a lot of real strong friendships forming. So we have some information. Obviously, the information that you gave us hopefully will help somebody take the next step, and that next step is to go online to thewellarmedwoman.com, get more information, maybe reach out to you. You guys have a Facebook page as well? We have a Facebook page, a very active one. We have a, a lot of information flows on there, a lot of interaction uh, through email at info at the well -armed woman and through the website. And I just encourage people to explore. No one's going to force you to make a decision that isn't right for you, but I want to give the information so that they can make a full you know, a very well-rounded, educated choice for themselves. So guys and gal, you heard it from Carrie. She has turned thousands and thousands of women, but also some men, oh, into yeah. new gun owners. If you're one of those people that are almost gun owners and need to take the step back, or if you want to get better at uh, how you care for and use your gun, that's the website, thewellarmedwoman.com. If you want to find out more about our guns in particular, mm -hmm. Beretta.com is the place to go. You can reach out to us on Facebook.com slash BerettaUSA or tweet me at Beretta underscore USA. Kerry, thank you so thank much. You. Enjoy the rest of the show. We'll see you, you later. Thank you. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Okay.